Hello Retroburn here, part 3 of our Let's Play UFO Alien Invasion. Loading. So the last time we had several wounded with us. And the next order of business would be to go inside the Phalanx HQ. Uh, let's not worry about the other crash site because uh, entering the base passes time in the geoscape. So that's not a problem. But the thing is, I'm not about to commit wounded soldiers to another battle, so we'll have to let these guys rest in the hospital. So one thing you have to know is that the game automatically places all your wounded into the hospital. So we're going to replace them. Like for example, our rocket Toting guy. He's got high explosives, so we're going to hire another one with the high explosive skill. 23, 18, 23, 21, 19. Oh darn. So we've got two guys with a 23 high explosive rating. That's Mark Mathis and S Stefan. Uh, accuracy 21. So accuracy 23. Let's choose this guy. And then we're going to equip him with whatever the wounded rocketeer was yielding so we're going to remove all these heavy there you go Carry armor, right? Yep. There you go. Aircraft. So have you removed the wounded one? Yep. Who else is wounded? So our two assaults are wounded and our medic too. So we need another close combat specialist. Wait. Um and tick. Going back. Looking for anyone with a high close combat rating. 17. 20, good enough. 15. 15. Because we'll get um, Stefan for that role.
Oh, I forgot there's a remove all button. Sorry about that. Oh, we're going to keep him with all that Pier Ho, Pier Joe was handling. Wide shotgun. Who else? Our two assaults are wounded, right? Forty-seven over ninety-eight and forty-two. So we're going to look for two guys who have a high enough assault weapon rating. So let's remove. To employees, eight soldiers, fifteen, fifteen. These guys are terrible. Twenty four, nice. Twenty one, nineteen. So we'll pick these two. Vasquez and Flip. High explosive is just average. So how about we equip him with grenades? And then rename him as an assault trooper. Where's the other one? Primary assault rifle to and kit flash bang that should do. Oh why, wait, why have I named this guy? Okay, so this isn't the right guy. Sorry about that. should do renaming renaming him as assault soldiers they're already there right eight of eight Wait, sniper, sniper, grenade. Oh, okay. There you go. Everyone's good to go. Except for the ammo. Hmm. 
there. Doesn't need the infrared goggles anyway. Seeing that he's a brute force approach kind of guy, what with this uh, grenade launcher. Could we squeeze in another? No. Okay. So everything's good to go. Alright. And then we'll take care of the buildings. I just remembered that our living quarters only has space for 40 people. And we've got an incam incoming lab and also a workshop. So that would mean there's going to be these two will have space for 20 more people. So we'll have to add another living quarter. Right. Buildings. We've got already two in base. We'll make another one. I am not about to make a living quarter next to the alien containment chamber. That would be so wrong. So put one here. Okay. And... I think that's going to be it for the meantime, so we'll land on the other... Wait, we'll save. We'll save here. In the core three, there you go. Continue. And we're going to, oh, it's still refueling. Okay, there you go. Work on combat armor at Phalanx one has finished. It's nice. So let's have our troops have a go at this crash site. Enter. Okay, let's go kill some aliens. Oh man. Close quarter combat. So, um, so we need to go up because that'll give us good vantage points. Is this guy grenadier salt? Nothing there. And let's have him put, put him on overwatch. Is there going to be a vantage point if we put in all our snipers on the top? Yep. So we're going to let our assault trooper lead the way for our sniper here. Then we're going to put him on top here so that they, they can cover this area. Just in case some of the aliens um, pour through this doorway.
Let's have him crouch. So this one. There, that's fully covered already. And let's have our grenadier hide. Here, also a rocket guy. Because he's a very valuable asset. There you go. Okay, let's end our turn. Where is that coming from? I think it's coming from right here. Is she crouching? I mean he. I keep misreading his name as Stephanie. Okay, nothing here. It's just a room. I should not let him go solo. going to go back here and guard this avenue. Crouch. Five round burst. Overwatch. Oh shit. <laughs> I forgot to let him stand up. Gee, damn it. Okay, standing. Oh, there's nobody there, so. Ah, brilliant. Fuckery. <laughs> He's facing the wall. Okay, big mistake on my part. Okay, let's have that guy cover that doorway. No sense in exposing our rear. Meanwhile, let's 
guy can walk here face there crouch okay that's covered and ending our turn Okay, can't determine where that's coming from. Holy shit, this space is huge. Okay, nothing there. Sever Crouch. So um, I think uh, it's not going to be a good idea to let our rocket rocketeer go up there because there's going to be a close quarter combat scenario. Let's have him wait, wait here where there's large open areas. So um, we'll have him walk here. Nothing there. These two can still. Ah, no, I'm changing my mind. We've already got a sniper and a rocket launcher. So let's have this guy move up. Ah shit. Okay, no reaction fire. Just so he can keep up. Okay, no problem with the crouching. It's not going to do anything either. Yeah, anyway. Dos Tres eh, Cuatro Cinco Seis Yep, nothing Going back Crouching seven eight nothing there ending our turn Okay, now we can have our sniper move here. Cover this arc. Alright. And now. 
now we can remove this guy from here and have him reinforce our party that's going to reach this area here let's have a peek nothing So one thing I've learned from our first battle is never ever put arrange your troops in such a way that uh, if a shot from an alien misses it's going to accidentally hit um, one or more of your troops. So let's have this guy crouch. Let's take a peek, shall we? Nope. Nothing there. Ace okay, guarding. Guarding. Nothing to do. So guarding that firing arc. Uh, but let's have her face here. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, ending our turn. Where are these buggers? There you go. Holy shit. Why is he not firing? What? There you go. Okay, let's call for a medic. All right, they know how to jump nice. The aliens don't have any entrance from which they can ambush us from behind, right? Nope. Okay, that's nice. So yeah, we'll go in.
One. Okay. We've managed to kill one alien, but where are the others? Ah shit, I forgot the reaction fire, sorry about that. It's 20 right? First aid is 20. First aid. still so you can't do a thing mm. okay ending our turn Where can they be hiding? Okay, got one. But can we open fire on the little bugger? Three round burst. What? Why? He's there. We can't hit him. Mm. Okay, no choice but to go downstairs.
We could always try to throw in a grenade, but I'm not sure if the windows are breakable, so let's not risk that. Okay. Inventory to back here and kneeling. Still nothing. Okay, let's end our turn. Okay, so we can fire at them, but they can fire at us. And gee, damn it. The hell? Thirty two per cent. Okay, sure. Ah, oh, fuck. Let's fire one more time. There you go. And let's get away from the windows. Do we have a medkit? Yep. First aid. <laughs> Not enough to use. Okay, no sense standing in the doorway waiting to be shot. So let's move here. Okay, ending our turn. Nice. Fuck. Holy shit. The man should be dead. But goddamn, he's still alive. So let's try pouring in a full auto burst at that fucker. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that did it. So um, we don't want to lose this guy, so I think we'll just delegate him to medic duty. Standing up. Nothing there. And let's get away from the windows. Ah oh, shit, I forgot to stand up again. Ok, 
Okay, nothing here. So I'm not moving these guys because they're in a perfect position for an ambush. So let's leave it to these four. And ending my turn. <laughs> Good one. So we've what we've got one gravely wounded soldier, but we've managed to kill three aliens. Uh, we've managed to capture one. I don't know how that happened, but uh, is going to die in transit because we don't have an alien, an active alien containment. I think. I think we need to research more tech before that building can be used. So yeah, and going to. Uh, sell the crashed UFO because we can't keep it because we don't have a UFO containment chamber either. So as before we're going to sell it to United America because that country only has a content status and we don't want them devolving, we don't want that status devolving to something like you know um, uh, angry or whatever this game has for uh, not least rating. So we'll sell there. And then we're going to let the dropship land and save, and I'm going to cut this video short. So um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. The links to the playlist and the first part of this Let's Play series is in the description box. Or you can click on the upper left and right corners. Oh, we've got a ladder. Commander, I'm afraid I have some bad news despite our best efforts. The alien specimens recovered from our last tactical mission have expired in containment. Uh, there you go. We were ultimately unable to stabilize their medical condition enough to learn anything useful. Outward signals indicate, indicate the, use, uh, the cause of death to be sudden and fatal asphyxiation. It seems the aliens can only live in our atmosphere for a limited time before they suffocate. We haven't performed a full examination of the body, not without your authorization, but I strongly recommend that you move straight to autopsy at this point. We must find a way to keep them alive longer, or we won't be able to conduct any meaningful research on them. My autopsy request should be waiting in the R&D queue for your approval. Thank you, Commander. Sincerely, Dr. Connor. Okay, so this has been Retroburn, and you've just seen part 3 of our Let's Play UFO Alien Innovation. Stay cool, stay frosty.